embracing a strange hello today's illusion is limerence yes like the psychological term no it wasn't the og title but i think that this is more all-encompassing than the first besides i think there's time later with another piece to repurpose the former title i've been so looking forward to this painting this concept is a revision of an old sketch it's invigorated with new feelings two figures are intertwined one balling up the other caught off guard the bawling figure is almost straddling the other as its body is racked through the hollow, sore peephole of the other's trunk. It bows its head shamefully and attempts to shrink, clutching at itself to curl tighter and disappear. While the figure, invaded and caught off guard, is lost in uncertainty as it cautiously opens its body more to assess the situation. Together, they are not a jumble of limbs. I said before, I view art as a lover, I give art personification. I only felt how other people feel romantically about people, about art. I've also said I'm asexual, specifically gray asexual, although I first mistook myself for demisexual. I'm not sure people get asexuality from what I've read on the discourse of Andy Warhol possibly being asexual. Being asexual doesn't mean devoid of sex. It is lack of interest in and the act of it as it pertains to want, need, and frequency. I think that's the whole premise of the Kinsey scale, you know, is that it is a spectrum, so it's fluid. And he could be ace with a preference for men as partners on the occasion when he had them. I also think I'm aromantic, but I'm not sure. I think I might have a sort of romantic outlook, a romanticization of things. Romanticization. I said that word weird. The quote comes to mind, I romanticize and decay with indecision. Yes, it is that, but not with people. I don't understand or trust romantic relationship ideology. It could be my dismissive attachment, who knows, but I enjoy reading about it and the like. That is me in a nutshell, Loki. Anyway, I experience limerence with each painting, but I truly love art. Acrylic painting is my chosen medium. I've seen other artists express the need to explore other mediums like oil paint, oil pastel, watercolor, gouache. I don't. In the words of Jane Lane, I found a medium grand enough to express my inner torment, albeit I have mediums, like if I can't paint it, I wrote it in the form of poems, songs, and or stories, then at other times portrayed it in lowbrow photography, which I guess counts as self-portraits, but I fell into that. It wasn't intentional like my other artistic endeavors. I simply needed cover art for song releases. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to my psychoanalysis. If you take any away of this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.